Jing. I love Jing, and I love telling people about Jing, so in this video I'm going to tell you about Jing. Jing is a piece of free software that you can use to do uh, quick screencast videos or do screen captures, snapshots, that you can then annotate and then share with people, and it just makes life wonderful. So let me show you what it looks like on an Apple. So on my Apple, Jing lives up in this corner. That's this little yellow thing in the corner, the sunshine. And so to get started, I hover over this, click on it, and I get my crosshairs. And then I use the crosshairs to capture the area that I want to focus on. I could do the entire screen if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm going to just do this corner. Now, if I want to do a snapshot, what I do is I come over here and it says capture an image, click on that, and now I'm in the Jing editor. So it created a snapshot. So you can see this is a snapshot of this area. Now this is what I love that's so cool about this with the snapshots. So now I can edit. I can add text. So let's say I want to say make this a full moon. put this over here and then I can point an arrow at it. Oh. Yeah, okay. I won't get compulsive on you. I can put a whoops, that's yeah, I can put a box around it. So now they really are understand what I'm pointing at. And I can change colors. I have all these different colors that I can use to make my annotations. Okay. I can leave the default, which is the date, uh, and I can name it. So if this is a series of edits that I'm making, I can name them. And then I can share them with people in one of two ways. I can upload to a free screencast.com account. You get a free screencast.com account with a certain amount of memory, um, storage space, so that you can use that to share your images with people. You upload it, and then you get a link and then you share the link and people can go there to watch it as opposed to having to attach it to an email and sending it to people. Or you can download it and then use it for some other purpose, embed it in something or attach it as an attachment. So this is what that looks like. I'm not going to save this. Now if I, let me show you what it looks like to do a screen capture. Um, yeah, screencast. So you capture the image, the area that you want to focus on, and then you select capture a video. You can turn your microphone on or off. I'm turning it off in this case because I don't know how that's going to work to have a two screencast casting uh, softwares going at the same time. But now you can see you have these bars that show that you're capturing, that you're recording, and then you have, this is, you have five minutes to record. At five minutes it's going to stop whether you're done or not, and it tells you how much time has elapsed. And then you just record and you walk them through. If you choose to do the whole area, you could show them, you know, you could walk through a website, show how a piece of software works, explain somebody, something to somebody, train somebody, use it to train somebody. This is how I use it quite often. So I will be, um, maybe I'm using a piece of software, a tool, something on, on online on my computer, and I'm having a problem. And so instead of then opening up an email and trying to use words to recreate the situation, I just start a Jing section, a session. And so I start a Jing session, and I let them watch me as I click through and I use the turn the microphone on and I explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it and then I save it and then send them the link and then they can see exactly what I'm doing and then they'll come back to me and say hey this is why that didn't work you did this when you should have done that that's why you're having a problem or it's like or they might say 
Hmm, I didn't know that you could do that. It looks like we have a bug. Thanks for bringing that to our attention. Really, it takes the frustration out of communicating with people, both the screen capture and the video. I love Jing. So when you're done, you click Finish, and you get to preview your video to make sure that it has you're communicating the thing, the right, the things that you want to say. And then when you're done, I recommend that you share via screencast because video is a take, video files are huge. And if you were to save this to your desktop and then try and attach it as an email, well, it's you're just going to cause yourself problems. So with screencast video, the best thing is just to save it to your screencast account and then when you're done, when it's done uploading, you'll get a link and then you share that link to with your people that you want to share this with. So I really like Jing. It saves a lot of time. It helps with communication. Um, you can use it to create training materials, to collaborate with people on projects, um, you know, where just taking the time to, it, it, sometimes just trying to write it down, write what you want to say to people is hard. It just, it just works better to just open up a Jing session and use it. Now, let me show you. Jing is made by TechSmith, and you can see, come back here, you can see you come here, TechSmith.com, Jing, come over to Products, and this is where you'll find Jing, and then you do your free download. It works on a PC, and it works on a Mac. Now, some of you may already know TechSmith. You might know Snagit. So Snagit is a step between Jing and Camtasia. So Jing is free. Snagit is not, but it's under 100 bucks. And you, it allows you to do screencast videos that are longer than five minutes, and you can annotate them. Well, you can annotate them. You can edit them. It has light editing capability. And then for those of us who want to do something a lot more complex, then you either you use Camtasia. This is for Windows and this is for Mac. But if you want to get started, Jing. I use both. I'm recording this video using Camtasia for Mac. I can edit it. It's editing software. But with Jing, if I want to do a quickie, I can do a quickie. I love Jing, I tell everybody about it, and so that's why I decided to make this video about it for you. Go try it. You know, if you don't like it, you uninstall it, you didn't spend any money for it, no worries. You try it, you like it, wow, you got this really useful tool, and it's free. That's all I got to say about Jing. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to learn how to make your own online videos, then be sure to download my free report, How to Make Quick, Easy, and Affordable Videos. You can get there by clicking the link below this video or visiting the link at the end of this video.